Hi, welcome in. I am Trucker Rudy from Canada, and to find out what we are up to today, stay tuned right after the intro. <music> Me 18 wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the satellite and radio Good morning, good morning everybody. We are ready to leave this fine morning. Yeah, here we go. Let's make our way down towards Texas. Yeah, I'm happy about this load, you know. A really really nice load actually looks like it's a gorgeous gorgeous morning too oh yeah looks like the Sun is just coming up over there so that's get down the road on the big road the interstate and have ourselves an awesome day so thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog and let's hope you guys all have a fantastic day yourself so that's come right along with us in 700 feet take the entrance to the right and enjoy the journey I am just coming into Fargo North Dakota right now yeah. Looks pretty quiet out here in Fargo today. In 0 0.2 miles, keep to the left on I-29 US-81. I guess it's also because it's considered Labor Day today. I guess it is. Today is Monday. So it's considered Labor Day today. But we as truckers, we don't really get a Labor Day. Continue on this road for 411 miles. We gotta work no matter what day of the week it is or what holiday it is. Because remember, if we don't move the freight, you ain't getting it in the store. That's 100% right. You ain't gonna have none in the store if we don't move the freight. I think I'm just going to continue on rolling. I'm only uh, been driving for an hour and a quarter now, so... Yeah! We'll just continue on cruising down here and through here. And we got two full days worth of driving yet to do. Our first drop is in Dallas, Texas. So we kind of get a, got to uh, put the hammer down. Not waste too much time, you know. We got the Flying J up here to the right. Which I almost never stop at. I don't really like this Flying J. But they're working on the highway here again. Good construction season should be just about over now. We got September. So I think by the end of October, I think we'll be done with construction. But here we go. Now we can put the hammer down again. We're out of the construction. So let's get down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day. If 
I could make about a million bucks I wouldn't mind driving this truck But I've been running too hard For too little pay So I walked in the boss man's room Said I'm gonna need me a raise real soon And threw that big fat cigar This is what he had to say I can only please one person today And today ain't your day So get back in that truck And turn it around Yeah, that door you just walked through Swings both ways And I can only please one person today And today ain't your day Came in off of the road Told my honey I've been pulling a heavy load So could you bring me a drink While I hit the easy chair And the chrome on my truck needs shine It's out there in the driveway When you get time Then I heard her wailing As my keys came sailing through the air I can only please one person today And today ain't your day So get back in that truck Hey, and turn it around Yeah, that door you just walked through Swings both ways And I can only please one person today And today ain't your day well, guess what, guys? We are in South Dakota now, and I have talked about this before. This is a scale that is open very, very often. Yes, it is. And what else is new is this week is driver safety week. And what that really means is they will inspect feet. a lot of to trucks. We got to open the window Play a little bit. Ahead. So if they're seeing something, we can hear them. I usually put her in low gear and get her over here. Let's see if they're busy or not. Yeah, the bison truck in the back there, so I kind of think he's busy with him. Well, you still have the green light. I guess he's busy with the other guy. Yeah, well that's good. That way I don't need to worry about it. Continue on this road for 330 miles. So we close our window. And yes, I do have a manual window on the driver's side. Passenger side is electronic, but uh, driver's side is manual. I don't mind though. I'm so used to it, it's, it doesn't bother me one bit. I know a lot of Volvos are a lot more electronics and they have a lot more sensors, a lot more clocks than mine, all that good stuff, but uh, I'm happy the way my truck is. I don't need all of them sensors on there. I always look at it as just more things to go wrong with, you know. Then, as I said, we are in South Dakota now. We got about uh, two and a half hours worth of driving in already. We'll probably go another little while here and then uh, we'll find us a truck stop. We'll make a little bit of a pit stop somewhere and have our half an hour mandatory break off somewhere. Although I don't really feel like having it just yet, but we'll see. I know there's a, a Flying J. 
that's probably an hour, hour and a half down the road yet, so I might just go up to there. I think it's like exit uh, 83, Sioux, uh, Sioux City. I think it's Sioux City or Sioux Falls. I'm gonna have to look it up first, but one of those. It starts with Sioux anyways. <laughs> but that's where I'll probably go make me a pit stop. Maybe I'll go in there and have breakfast, I don't know for sure yet, but we'll do something. Yep. But anyways, let's continue on and uh, we'll see what the day will have in stock for us. See if we'll get inspected anywhere yet because it's safety week. Alrighty guys, I have decided to make a pit stop up here in Watertown. South Dakota, yeah. I don't know what exactly that truck stop is called, but uh, I'm just gonna go over there and pull over and have me my half an hour break. Yeah. Don't really feel like having a break just yet, but I'm just gonna go pull in here anyways. <laughs> Because uh, I was looking at Sioux Falls, South Continue Dakota, there for 273 miles, and that one was like a hundred and somewhat miles yet. So I figured, well, I don't know if I want to drive that long. So I said, all right, I'll pull her in over here and just do my half an hour break over here. It should be good enough too, right? I think so anyways. In 300 feet, take the entrance Tesoro, to the left on I-29 Tesoro? I think Tesoro, that's what they call this uh, truck stop up here. Or at least the gas station part. Yep. Let's go pull her in here and see what we shall be able to do. Yeah. Just looking over there, they got a Kenworth dealer up there or something. I'm starting to think that noise that I had on my uh, front of my uh, truck there, I'm starting to think it's uh, it's the fan belt. I was just thinking like Kenworth's got Commons engines as well. I was just thinking maybe I could go walk over there, see if they have a fan belt. Let me replace the fan belt. I still have a noise there in front of my truck, which I don't really like too much. Well, it looks like they're starting to put asphalt down over here on this parking lot. Well, last time this wasn't here. Well, that's good. Good to see that. Hey, this we'll go grab ourselves a parking spot up in here and then. Uh, I'll probably go have me some breakfast. So we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Here we go guys. We are done with our break. We had ourselves a bite to eat in here. <clears throat> Did our circle check, had our half an hour off. You know what else we did? We changed the fan belt. In 200 feet, turn right on 9th Avenue, US. The big one. The big fan belt. Yep, that's the one I changed. <clears throat> My truck has got two belts. It's got a big one for the fan alternator. And it's got a second one for the air conditioning and the water pump. Well, I guess the water pump uh, sort of runs in convention with the uh, with the uh, big belt there, but uh, turn around. Yeah, the big belt there kind of the turns the water pump, and at the same time, uh, 
uh, the other belt is being turned because it's on the same pulley and that in essence turns my air conditioning yeah and guess what it did fix my squealing noise I was having a bad squealing noise in the front of the engine and I couldn't really figure out at first I thought it was the uh, belt tensioner there last week and, and I got my uh, the entrance to the belt tensioner bearings replaced which they weren't the best anymore either they really weren't like when I turned the pulley you could you could feel a little bit friction in it and you could also hear it when you hold it close to your ear you could actually hear that they were starting to make some noise so there was a sign that they weren't very good anymore but that still didn't fix my problem, so... So now we know what the problem was, it was the belt. And I have a pretty good idea on what happened. It's got these grooves cut in, in the belt. And uh, I think the grooves are usually a certain thickness, you know. And... Uh, I think the belt was worn off and so I think in essence what happened is the uh, the grooves weren't deep enough anymore for it to actually cut right into the pulley and so I think in essence of that it was slipping a little bit miles. and that's why it was probably squealing I was uh, telling you guys there was a Kenworth dealer there uh, at the truck stop just across the street or whatever. I didn't go over there and look to see if they had one in stock. What I did do is uh, I knew that I had uh, two belts in my cubby hole, the big ones, and I checked both of those ones out. I know they were both used and the ones still looked pretty decent. So I, st I decided, you know what, I'm just going to try this. And so I took the old belt off, put the other used one on there that I had in my bunk, and my cubby hole, problem solved. No more squealing, at least not for now. It's nice and quiet. So I guess that's what, that's what was my problem there. It was... Uh, not really the pulley probably it was probably uh, the belt from the beginning but we got it fixed now well temporarily at least I am going to go buy me a new belt as soon as I uh, uh, find a Volvo dealership that's going to be open as you guys know today is a holiday Labor Day weekend so today I don't suspect there will be anything open, but in the next couple of days here, I'm going to see if I can uh, find a Volvo dealership or something that has a belt like that in stock. And if they do, I'm going to go buy me a new belt and I'm going to put it on right away. And you know, I'll put the old one back in my cubby hole. Just in case, you know, a belt rips or whatever, I do have a spare one in, in, in the bunk, you know. And I did all of that myself. I replaced it myself. I didn't need no mechanic. But as a lot of you probably do know, I grew up in South America and I've been around machines all my life. I helped my dad uh, repair tractors, like farm tractors. And, I've been around, you know, I I learned a lot from my dad and I'm not afraid to get dirty and try stuff, you know. I'm not going to try electrical stuff, but uh, for something like this, I can, I can handle, you know. So we took care of business. Anyways, enough of that. We'll continue on with our journey here. It's a gorgeous day out here today. A little bit cloudy, but just beautiful weather out here.
perfect temperatures it's not super hot it's not cold just perfect and we love it especially for Labor Day long weekend especially further north up here it can be cold and I know I talked to a guy from Alberta there earlier he texted me there on uh, on YouTube there he wrote a comment there saying it was uh, raining there a lot in Alberta and they even got a little bit of snow mix there already so I'll take this kind of weather any time of the day we got plus 21 Celsius right now oh yeah let's put the hammer down and get somewhere south well guys it looks like we might be getting a free shower up here or a free truck wash or whatever you want to call it at least I should be able to clean my windshield yeah got a few bugs on it and stuff like that so yeah, we might be able to clean her up pretty good it's been drizzling here now for a little bit not too much but a little bit we are in Iowa right now we've been for a while now but uh, hadn't filmed anything here since we crossed into Iowa but uh, we won't be in Iowa for very much longer we only got about 20 miles and then we'll be turning on to Iowa 2 we are currently on uh, I-29 and we'll be turning on to Iowa 2 and that's where I met my cousin a while back ago and that's where I was stopped at the truck stop where I showed you guys that little uh, rat that was in a box and you pulled on the lid it was coming out <laughs> yeah they got all kinds of interesting things in there you know but uh, we're just cruising along and having ourselves a blast doing it here at Labor Day weekend I guess all the Labor Day well I'm working that's right I am working that is for sure and I know jukebox trucker jukebox is working too today I talked to him earlier. Yep, that's the way it goes with truck drivers. You can't always choose your days. But that's okay. I chose that career. And that's what I have to deal with. And let's continue on cruising along here and have ourselves a blast doing at it. So we'll see you guys all a little bit later. It looks like we will be going into Nebraska here very shortly. Yeah. And it didn't, I didn't really get any rain yet. Got a little bit of a drizzle, but uh, hey, that's okay too. I washed my truck while I was at home, so a truck wash right now but I guess we better turn on the wipers so you can see speed out of the warning. window I don't know why he's saying speed warning I'm going speed limit <laughs> yep right here across the river that's where we will be entering Nebraska yep now it just looks like some big drops are coming down so here we go entering Nebraska state line right here middle of the river they kind of like to have it at the middle of the river eh? crossing border entering Nebraska yes you tell them you tell them the good life that's what it said there on the sign oh well if they say that good, uh, it's good life here in Nebraska, well, then so be it. I think we got about an hour, maybe a little over an hour that we can still drive legally on our logbook. So Speed limit reduced ahead. we're going to attempt to make that uh, very close to full. At least we got a little further than what we are right now. But we should be done about 6 o'clock tonight. So 
So actually, I can start really early tomorrow. Turn left on South 64th Road, US 75. And then uh, we'll go down to uh, Ward's uh, Dallas there tomorrow. Well, uh, I think Dayton or whatever that is. I think is the uh, closest, one of the closest truck stops to where I gotta go. And I think that's where I'm gonna go. There's a big TA up there. But that one is uh, always full. So I'm gonna have to try and get there early to get a parking spot in there. So we're, uh, we are gonna attempt to do that. Try and get there early tomorrow. Well, we stop here at 6 o'clock tonight or somewhere around that. I could actually get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. And do my free trip and get out of there. Probably be out of there in by 4.30. Turn left on South 64th Road, US 75. That would mean probably by 4.30 tomorrow or 5 o'clock. I could be over there. That should be early enough to get a spot somewhere. I would think. But yeah, we're going to be turning on to US 75 up here. Yep. Just going to have to wait till the light changes, I guess. So we'll see you guys in a minute or two. I think I am just about to stop. I can't really see 100% for sure if this is it. But I think it is. I think this is the one that I would like to pull into and uh, call it a day. I think this is it. Let me see. Yep, I think this is it. Yep. Oh yeah. This is where I wanted to go and stop for a while again. I was back here. Yeah. Quite a few months ago, I was at this truck stop overnight. It's actually a very nice place to stop at because they got a Mexican restaurant over here. I haven't had Mexican food in a while, Turn so left and then I think I'm gonna go walk possible. in there and have me some Mexican food. Yeah, I'm happy about that. And we got probably Exactly 600 miles in, in today. 700 feet, make a U-turn if possible, and then turn right in 800 feet. Yeah, around McNally. Uh, RJ is screaming at me. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. It's a gravel parking lot up here, but that's okay. As long as we're allowed to stay here, why not, right? And we are. We will back this bad boy in over there and we're going to go have ourselves some Mexican food. Mexicano, yeah, I like it. Alright, alright, we got a four wheeler up here, so gotta watch out for those guys. So, let's see, we can actually back her in beside that blue truck. There we go. Yeah, it's actually been a good day. I've been able to get uh, good miles in. I've been able to be steady. Steady going. I don't know why that guy has his side door open, but I guess he doesn't want to idle, so he keeps his side door open. But that's all right. Plenty of parking up here. I'll just give him a little more space. Yep. I think we're going to have to idle uh, our APU unit all night tonight because it's supposed to only go down to like 22 Celsius today. Yep, that's it. Alright, yeah, he's got his curtains closed. There we go, we are done for today. We got 961 kilometers in the book. That's good. Good miles. We got our quarter after six. 
So technically tomorrow at quarter after four, I can start my pre-trip. And then at uh, 4.30 I can actually get out of here if I want to, you know. We'll see if that's actually going to happen or not, but... Sabado... <laughs> this is a weird one. S-A-B-E-T-H-A. -E I have no idea how to pronounce that, so... I ain't even going to try too much, so... So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, here we are at the restaurant. Let's have a look. Yeah. I have no idea what it's spelled like, but whatever. This is the Mexican restaurant, so we'll go in and have a good bite to eat. I'll we'll be getting ready to have a good meal. Let's have a look what we're having. Yeah. That looks pretty good, eh? So let's have ourselves a good meal. Hey, well, guys. That was an awesome meal. I like Mexican food as long as it's not spicy and it wasn't. It was super good. Oh, I'm so full now. <laughs> I bet you I'm going to be tired here pretty soon and want to go to bed. But yeah, it's actually pretty cloudy over there. I don't know how good you can see that. But uh, right there, it's actually nice. But over there, it's pretty dark. And that's what it was looking like over here earlier. I guess the whole system moves that way. I guess they're getting hammered uh, further that way, south, I guess. But, uh, anyways, we are pretty much done for today. I think I'm just gonna go cut it for today. I have to say goodbye to you guys. And, uh, if you are new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends and family. And also give me a big thumbs up. And with that, have a great day. And we will be sure to see you guys again tomorrow. behind me that day is gonna come